Welcome to Mr Chalk's Revision Tips. In this video, we will look at Momentum, the equation for momentum and the conservation of momentum. So, a moving object has momentum. So, this is the tendency of an object to keep moving in the same direction. It is difficult to change the movement of an object with lots of momentum. So momentum is measured in kilogram meters per second. The mass is measured in uh, kilograms and the velocity is measured in meters per second. So if an aircraft carrier has a mass of a million kilograms and its velocity is 15 meters per second, if we want to work out its momentum, we're going to do 15 times by a million, which means that its momentum would be 15 million kilogram meters per second. So if we uh, look at another couple of examples, so if we've got a 120 kilogram sprinter that's traveling at nine meters per second, what is its momentum? We're just going to do 120 times by nine, which would mean its momentum would be 360 kilogram meters per second. If we've got a skier that's moving at 15 meters per second with 84 kilograms, if we're looking at what his momentum would be, his momentum would just be 84 times 15, which would give us 1,260 kilogram meters per second. So as long as there's no external forces acting on the objects involved, the total momentum stays the same in explosions and collisions. So we say that the momentum is conserved. You can use this idea to work out the mass and velocity before or after a collision or explosion. So it's worth remembering that the momentum before is equal to the momentum after. So mass times velocity before is going to be the same as mass times velocity after. So therefore, if we want to work out the velocity after, we can go and rearrange our equation to give us the mass times the velocity before divided by the total mass after which will then go and give us our velocity after so we look at this example so if we've got a minecart that has a mass of a thousand kilograms moving at a velocity of five meters per second on a level surface and it collides with another minecart that has a mass of 1500 kilograms if we're calculating the velocity of the two after the collision we're going to go and work out the momentum before which would be a thousand times by five which would give us 5000 kilogram meters per second so that means that the momentum after would be equal to that the mass after would technically be the two individual masses added together so we're going to have a thousand plus 1500 so the total mass after will be 2500 kilograms so if we're working out the velocity after we're going to do the momentum which we've worked out divided by the mass which would give us a velocity of two meters per second thanks for watching 